Ryan here. Silly reviews. The Saints just beat the Buccaneers 34 to 17. It was a convincing victory, but the Drew Brees watch continues. And we're going to focus on arm strength today. We're not going to focus on numbers or the victory, but giving the eye test to Drew Brees and what's going on here. I've got some interesting information. I've got some interesting stats for you. We're going to talk about it. Now, I will make mention real quick. Uh, Yahoo NFL scoreboard used to be my jam because it used to be so fast. There weren't a lot of ads on it. Even with uh, my ad blocker, uBlock Origin activated, there's just so much stuff on here popping up. It just, the site used to be so fast, mostly text. And the thing I hate about the Yahoo scoreboard now, when you want to dive in to the box scores on these games, it this site, Yahoo scoreboard, NFL scoreboard, commits the ultimate sin. The, it's an autoplay video that's going to happen right here messes everything up there's an ad that usually leads off with it uh, I can't roll with this no more Yahoo Sports NFL scoreboard that's for sure let's talk about Drew Brees' arm strength if you monitor Twitter or if you just go on Twitter and you because Twitter is a hotbed for like up to the second right now what's going on with sports you can look up Brees arm strength you can look up Drew uh, Brees under throne and you'll see a lot of examples of what I'm going to show you right here. Second half, uh, second quarter, minute 52 left, third and 18 for the Saints. So if they're not going to chicken out and run a draw play, Drew Brees is going to have to chuck this daddy. Now, you will notice on here that Drew Brees somewhat is off his back foot on this, but I'm not going to give it an excuse because it wasn't that long of a throw. Watch the action right here. Breeze drops back. He's going to throw from, he's right at about the eight in, in what? Eight and a quarter, eight and a half yard line. He's going to throw center, almost center of the field to the left sideline. A whopping, let's see, from the eight yard line to the 32 yard line. 24 yards halfway to the side of the field. And he just threw up that, that lame duck that cost us a good catch. We still would have been short. He would have went out of bounds, got tackled, what have you. Still would have been about two yards short. But this pass right here was absolutely not, not the Drew Brees that we remember, people. Let's go back and just watch that in real time one more time. Who's that? Who's that? Rondé Barber came back? Okay, here we go. Take a looky, take a looky Lou at this. About a 24 yard pass and it looks so weak that drew Brees arm strength is suspect oh what was that what was that let's dive in box score so i'm going to go to footballdb.com for this much better site way fast you can see nothing but text here i don't even see a graphic besides a little bitty logo top left so uh, Saints were in control, even though the score was within reach for the Buccaneers for a lot of the game. It really wasn't. Drew Brees, his stats on the day, 28 completed out of 35 attempts. Drew Brees is accurate. We know that. <laughs> These are a lot of short throws, man. A lot of short throws. Total yardage, 228. Drew Brees threw 35 times. He completed 28 of those and only got 228 yards. That is not Drew Brees. That's not the Drew Brees we remember. 6.5 yards an attempt. Three touchdowns, no picks. That's Drew Brees. Long of 41, but that's, you know, there's some yards after the catch on that, I'm sure. And there's also a highlight I could not find in time to publish, to go along with this video. But there was another pass to uh, Ted Ginn in this game, if you were watching. That was, whoa. It was a rainbow. Not good. Drew Brees wasn't sacked. Good job, Brees. Good job. Oh, line, of course, his QB rating, and that number is eh, sketch nowadays. Better analytics out there. 122.4. Now, check this out. Drew Brees has started five. Where's my hand at in the video? Five 
games this year. Okay. Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy Bridgewater has started five. Now, one of those games, Drew Brees did get hurt, but you know, think about a Bridgewater blowout where they're going to be really conservative. Okay. Five starts a piece. Look at these numbers and you tell me what the saints should do. Teddy Bridgewater actually threw the ball 24 more times in that five game start period a piece. Okay. Completion percentage close breeze has the advantage breeze so accurate we know that we know it 67.7 percent completion percentage for teddy 75 percent completions for breeze incredible numbers for both guys yardage wise now same virtually the same amount of completed passes uh bridgewater 1370 yards Breeze less than 1,300 yards. But look how close these numbers are. Yards per attempt, almost identical. Touchdowns, Bridgewater nine, Breeze only eight. Interceptions, Breeze three, Bridgewater only two. Their long pass, both of these guys haven't really hit a home run this year. Mm, Ted Ginn Jr. is not who he used to be. Michael Thomas is not that bomb deep threat guy. Both under 50 yards. Sacks, uh, Bridgewater took some more sacks. And uh, a lot of lost yards on Bridgewater. I think we and all remember that one play when uh, Bridgewater got, got dropped for a, a huge loss. He felt so bad about that. Uh, that QB rating number, Drew Brees, 104.8. Teddy Bridgewater, just a hair under a hundo. So you tell me, guys, what should we do? Should we keep Brees around another year? Probably year tops, man. He's got that Peyton Manning drop off. On that arm strength happening. Um, if we keep Breeze, and I've said this before, we're going to lose Teddy next year. Teddy's about to get that dump truck backed up. Full of straight cash. Big time money next year. Breeze, Breeze might have to do the Montana. He might have to do the Peyton Manning. Uh, do what a lot of uh, greats, NFL greats have done, which is, you know, you want to keep playing? You go to another team that needs you as that last piece. To get to the Super Bowl, you take uh, a reasonable amount of money and you get there. But the scenarios are if we keep Drew Brees, Bridgewater's gone, Brees retires, we are screwed. Who's going to quarterback? Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill's not a quarterback. He's not going to be the quarterback. I know people love Taysom Hill. He's not a quarterback. He's a utility guy. He'll get you here. He'll get you there. Um, What would the Saints end up doing at that point, having nobody? You know? Uh, I think it's time to have that talk with Drew Brees. And we need to keep Teddy. That's what I think. What do you think? What do you think the best plan is for the New Orleans Saints for the future? And it's it's looking like an immediate future. There's a lot of games left. Uh, it's almost a, a lock, a lead pipe lock that the Saints are going to be in the playoffs. There's a lot of games left for Drew Brees to, to fatigue, man. You can't blame this. Uh, on his ligament injury, that thumb injury, because this drop-off was happening last year. Everybody saw it in the playoffs last year. So tell me what you think. I'm Ryan for Silly Reviews. Uh, if you haven't already, it would help a lot if you would subscribe to the channel. I've been doing this since 2006, believe it or not. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Who dat? Out of here. Everybody have a great day, great night. Mm -mm. Here we go.